Yo, yo, I'm Drew Yorkrist and today I wanted to make a tier list on rolling papers. I feel like this has been needed for quite a bit and I just thought I would say as well, I'm really sorry for not uploading videos for like the last week. I've been really, really sick. Like I was just like hella unwell, like mad block nose and stuff. It was just not nice at all, but I'm feeling better now. So hopefully everything can continue. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd mention that because I, I, I wanted to be uploading the last couple days, but I like literally couldn't film. Also, before we get into this video, need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, Dynavat. Yo, Dynavat are actually sick. They have these totally non-electric vapes where you literally just take the cap off, put your herb in here, and then you put the cap back on, and then you just literally use a jet lighter and you're vaping. Never need a charge or anything, and you can even put a coil in it like I have, and then you can do dabs out of it, which I much prefer. And you can get a discount off anything on their website with discount code DREW420. So don't forget to use that on the checkout. It does work with literally anything on their site. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for supporting the sponsors and uh, let's get on with this video. Sweet, so we've got this tier list here. I did not make this tier list. I just Googled rolling paper tier list and I, I figured that would be easier than me making one myself. But the first two ones that are in here, I don't know what they are. So I'm just gonna put these at the end and I'm not gonna rate those ones because I have no idea what the hell they are. All right, let's start things off with these brown OCBs. Now, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really don't like these OCBs. I really hate these brown ones. I've actually had these make white ash bud go black ash before. I really don't like these. I think they burn awfully and I've never really been a big fan of OCB. I've just always find them to be pretty whack. So I'm actually going to put these straight in F tier. Starting it off good with this one, yeah? Totally not controversial from the get-go. OCB in the F. All right, next up we got the black OCBs, but in the roll sort of form, I'm still putting these in the F. I, I don't like OCBs. <laughs> oh shit, we got the shine papers, the gold 24K papers. This might actually be a really weird one for some people, but I'm putting these in straight S tier. They actually smoke really nice. They keep the flavor of your bud really well. It doesn't fuck up how it burns and it actually smokes really crazy and it looks really cool at the same time. So I think that means straight S tier. I mean, the burn's good, the flavor's good, and it looks cool. I mean, that is that is pretty fucking S tier if I may say so myself. Next up, we got Juicy J's. Again, I think these are straight F tier, man. I've never had a nice Juicy J ever. These, these, eh? I don't know what these papers are. I'm gonna put these at the end with, with those other ones. I don't know what them ones are. Full brand, fucking hell. That takes me back to like Poundland days. I remember these papers being I. I haven't tried them in a long time. I don't know if I can put them straight in F tier because I don't really know. But from what I remember, I remember them being pretty bad, but not like, really bad you know like if they were the only ones there it wouldn't be bad to use them you know so I i'm going to think ball brand in the d tier all right next up we got elements and uh, i actually really like elements you don't see me use them a lot because i get sent raw by raw which you can kind of see here but uh i think if raw blacks didn't exist these would probably be my go-to papers so i think they're going to be an s tier and also Honorable mention to Too Loud Papers because I didn't make this tier list so I couldn't add them into the tier list But uh, Too Loud Rolling Papers would also be in S tier for that exact same reason as the elements Glass Papers, I've never actually tried these uh, But I have tried the Trip Squared ones So I'm just gonna pretend that these are those ones because they're pretty much the same thing And I actually really like them I wouldn't say I could use them as my daily driver I wouldn't be able to put them in like an S tier But I think they were actually pretty good. They kept the flavor, they looked really cool. Um, I think they probably would actually go in an A tier. I don't know how the glass ones are, but uh, those trip squared ones, they were actually weirdly good compared to how I remembered them. All right, I think these ones are Rizzler Precisions. I don't think these ones are Silvers. Yeah, Silvers are further on in the list. And I remember these Rizzler Precisions actually being kind of decent as well. Definitely not like A tier. I wouldn't be saying like, you know, if I seen them in a shop, I'd be wanting to cop them. Um, I don't know whether it'd be B or C tier though. Mm, no, nah, I think I'm gonna go B tier because these are usable. They're smokable. You know, you wouldn't be like, you know, annoyed if you only had to use them. You'd probably be perfectly content with it. So I'm gonna call it B, you know? All right, next up we got OCB Blacks again, but this time not in the rolls format. I guess the OCB Blacks, I think, are slightly better papers than the OCB Browns. So maybe I'll put them in D tier. I'm still gonna leave the rolls versions of them in F tier because who the fuck would want that. All right, we got Raw Classics. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, I don't really like Raw Classics. I, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I don't find they smoke as good as Raw Blacks and I find they're like a bit harder to roll with. Um, but I guess that's probably because I'm super used to Raw Blacks. I think these would still go in A tier, but these aren't just the normal papers. These are 
uh, the Rolls version. So the Rolls version instantly get demoted, I think, because at the end of the day, you know, who actually is gonna be using the rolls, like, you know, more than like once a month to roll out some mad joint? I don't know, I'ma stick them in, uh, in B, I think. Straight away afterwards, we have the non-rolls version. Uh, yeah, I think these go A tier. They're not like something I would use as a daily driver, but I mean, for what they are, they're pretty good. I don't really prefer them to Raw Blacks, but yeah, like I said, I think I think A tier is a, a pretty good spot for them. Oh, now we got the organics, all right? And uh, I think the organics, like the normal papers, I'd probably put in B. Um, actually, I'd probably put them in C, actually, and I, I'm going to continue the trend of having the rolls in a thing below the, uh, the papers because they're rolls, so I'm going to put these in D, and then I'm going to slam the normal papers into C. Alright, next up we've got rips. Who uses these? Who actually uses these? These, these are going straight into the F tier. No, 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 I'm good. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be a quick fire round from here. Rizzler Green, F tier. Rizzler Orange, F tier. Rizzler Hemp. F tier. Rizzler Silver? I'll probably put it in D tier. Maybe not the worst. Ah, oh, no, nah, no, nah, Rizzler Silver, I'll put it in C tier. Rizzler Silver, C tier. Rizzler Blues, F tier fam. Rizzler Blues dead. Rizzler Reds, F tier G. What the fuck? And then we got the really wants to be Rizzler, but isn't quite Rizzler, which is Swan Papers. Uh, we got the Reds, which are definitely Fs. We got the Blues, which I think the Blues are actually the thinner ones with swans, but I think still they're swans, they're going in Fs. And the silver swans, I think they're slightly usable, so I'll put them in D. Oh, we got what I think is my personal favorite, raw blacks, straight away in the S tier. I smoke on these every day. Every single day, these are the papers that I use, and I absolutely love them. Um, yeah, big up to raw black, banging. Ooh. Zigzag brown. I reckon these are probably like D tier. Zigzag silvers, probably D tier as well. Then the greens, definitely F tier. Blues, definitely F tier as well. And oh shit, that's everything. I just realized I don't know what these last three ones are. Maybe at some point I'll try and find these three papers and see what they're like, but I think this is a pretty good list for what we've got here. So people remember as well, this is just my opinion, right? This is just for my experiences and how I feel. And I would like to know where you would reorganize all of these papers on a list of your own. So if you wanna let me know in the comments down below, what's your S tier, what's your A tier, what's your B, your C, your D, and your F, that would be sick as fuck. I read through literally all of the comments, so um, yeah, I'm excited to see them. Oh yeah, I need to mention this here before I forget, but uh, YouTube has introduced some new system, which is like an AI that age restricts videos, and it is complete bullshit, and it is like basically made a lot of my videos just get age restricted from like instant release, so if you guys were annoyed about having to verify uh, like your ID to be able to watch like old videos and stuff, well now you're probably going to have to do it to watch newer videos, so I'm trying to work out like a little workaround. I'm thinking about making a page Patreon where I re-upload any videos that get age restricted onto the Patreon so that way people can watch them there without having to like give YouTube and Google all of their information. But I'm not 100% sure where it's going to go from here at the moment. I think I'm going to make a lot more videos like this, a lot more talking videos and more informational and opinion based videos. I'm still going to try and make the videos that, you know, I love making as much as I can, uh, but I, it's a bit up in the air right now. I'm going to have to see where everything goes. So I have made the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Drew is sharing. I'll probably leave it in the pinned comment down below. And slowly over the the next week I'm going to be uploading a bunch of videos that you guys can't watch anymore over onto the Patreon so uh, yeah the link for that will be in the pinned comment down below and uh, yeah people make sure to hit the subscribe button just down here if you haven't already because I'm not going to be on your recommended forever and hit the notification bell the notification bell is important make sure it's on all and not occasional because YouTube changes that like just randomly for you so check that and uh, make sure you hit the like button if you like the video as well and uh, I'll see you guys probably later on today on the live stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. And that's also a thing as well, yeah, there's probably gonna be a lot less smoking on the channel going forward, whereas on Twitch, obviously, there's always loads. So if you wanna come over to the Twitch and chill for the night, that would be pretty sick. So I'll see you guys there. Have a good one. Peace.